this is an exciting day. A really exciting day. You see, we're taking Hugo for what Sandra's termed a spa day. will mean that Hugo will be gone for a few days. Oh!
going to be quite thick this year. That's why we have to warm it up with this new paint. Is that because of the way it hardens that they've done it thicker or? It's better coverage. Oh, okay. You know, you have to, compared to what we used to use, it, you use less of it because right, okay. it covers. Gotcha. And it's not too packed, is it now? You're not allowed to use that it's, now. It's just solar based, yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. It's only the, the car, you know, the, the base coat uh, for the car industry and, and the base coat, like metallic and solid base coat that are the water based. Okay. Um, and then you obviously got the clear coat on top, which is solvent based. But all this, the direct gloss is still solvent based. But I mean, they've made it better because they took over the years, they've took the, all the lead out or moat it. There's still a little bit of lead in there, but they've took the lead out because, you know, the powers to be worldwide have said, you know, we need to reduce the VOCs. Yeah. So all the paint companies, you know, have had the, uh, finger pointed at him and said look you know you need to do something so to give you an example etch primer years ago had so many uh chromates and isocyanides and the etch primer was so good um and now it's chromate free the product's good for the environment but it's not a great product for, yeah. for what you but Previously, it killed a lot of sprays. Yeah, but yeah, but to be fairness, some of the some, some of the painters years ago didn't even wear marks. No, you know exactly. they put a bit of grease on and and um, that was it. Go for that, but I mean now to be honest, with you, it's paint space, you've got the charcoal filters in line from the compressor all the way down to the outlet of the spray booth and then you've got charcoals, you know, like an inline three filters um, before it goes into this, before the air goes into the spray booth. Wow. And then you've got your charcoal pack on your air thread uh, mask. Yeah, and you've got uh, track from fans anyway, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. So it's super, you know, it's super safe. Yeah. Well, I guess it's super safe. I mean, it's not like, um, it's not as safe as fitting up home. <laughs> sitting at a desk operating a computer yeah know. that's dangerous straight away isn't it and we just see the colors like oh yeah and you scrape them off and then you mix it in again you know so <laughs> just don't like mix the old stuff the old del fleet this is del fleet one yeah. The old Del Fleet was so much easier to, 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 to mix and pour, it was a bit thinner. But because this is covering better, it's so much thicker. Mm. And you have, to ha you have to have it, ideally above 20 degrees all the time. So in the summer, it's lovely. <laughs> yeah, but you've still got heat in there. Yeah. Um, it, when they first installed this on the mixing schemes, the, rub the, the rubber belts driving the the stirrers okay if you didn't have it at a certain temperature the it, leather belts would snap bloody hell that's how thick it was because there was so much pressure there yeah that's what i've been told i mean we've not experienced that because we've been lucky and um got the an extra um heater paint mixing heater in there i mean that's your color there look Yeah, you still got colour going in, look. Yeah. If I if I hadn't have put boiling water in the bottom of this, I'd have no chance of mixing this. Amazing. I mean, the, the people are doing it all the time. You know, they the um the retailers. They just bungle together and put it in a tin and then it's... Oh, okay. Yeah. We're not so lucky as that, you yeah. know? Yeah, it costs a lot of money, that does, doesn't it? And that is going to... That's four litres of unmixed paint, which is going to create eight litres. 
I'd oh, that's, yeah, it's ready for use. That'd and that would be enough. enough for the van? Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully a bit of leftover. So we always like to try and um, have, a, have, a, have a little bit of a batch left over. Yeah. Because even even though you mix it, you know, bang on. Batches are batches, aren't they? It's like wallpaper, you know. Um, yeah. You know, you could try and get the same batch number, don't you? Yeah. You know, if you don't, then they they, they actually say on the label, don't they? Try and get the batch number. Yeah. You know, you can't be responsible for another shade or whatever in pattern. Yeah, I think Sandy works with um, colours. Uh, oh, does she? It, 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 yeah, because they do um, window frames, so they have to paint those. Where does she work then? Input joinery. I mean, that get a fine stir before it yep. goes. I mean, these these are only guides anyway. Of course. You know, so. That's pretty close. And that that dry darker anyway. Yeah, it'll go off darker, won't it? You know, so. I well, should put a blanket on it, a little bit of rag, put it on the heater. And that stay warm until such time as the boys. Right. Cool. So right, that's good. I'll have to carry it over there and I'll probably drop it all over the floor. I felt your heavy breath.
Thanks for watching.